Law enforcement is cracking down on illegal vapes. They keep finding these vapes that contain THC and they're they're busting stores that are selling them. And investigators show WRL's Julian Grace how they're doing it. After a series of overdoses in the area, investigators started going inside vape shops like this, doing undercover work to find illegal products. And today they shared with us what they found. As you know from social media and from uh, all the calls, we've been executing search warrants all day yesterday. We caught up with Hope Mills Police Chief Stephen Dollinger. He shared there have been several overdoses this year in Cumberland and Robinson counties. Detectives are looking for any products with more than 0.3% THC, which is considered illegal in North Carolina. Many come from hemp plants, which are legal as long as they're below that 0.3% THC level. So they are actual marijuana products and in violation of the law. Um, so we're, we're looking for any of those kind of products, but more specifically, a lot of them are geared towards um, advertising towards younger folks, like using significant um, cereal brands and potato chip brands and candy brands to attract them. So far, undercover detectives have visited 107 stores. Next week, a task force will release the findings of this undercover operation. If caught, the owners could face local or federal charges. Now, in the process, Dollinger says their efforts are sending a message. They don't care about people's health, so they just care about their profit. And that's why uh, that's why D.A. Scott uh, asked us to get involved in this. Reporting in Cumberland County, Julian Grace, WRL News. So, yes, putting THC in a vape and selling it is illegal. That's a problem. But even the vapes that have the legal stuff in them, that's a problem, too. Vaping is the focus, in fact, of our next WRAL documentary. WRAL investigative documentary reporter Kristen Severance wanted to find out how teenagers are getting their hands on these products despite being underage. This is a button cam, so this part will be hidden. That part just looks just like a button, but it's actually a camera. We're going to put this on you and then just send you into the stores. And really, we just want to see when you buy a vape if they ask for your ID. The WRAL doc unit went to a dozen vape stores to see if they would ID a young person, see what they found and how lawmakers are responding in Gen V teen vaping in North Carolina. The doc airs next Thursday, September 26th at 730.